hello there, how are you doing? Do you want that? Well, it's quite opportune that Kate's here with the camera because randomly and somewhat weirdly a few people had asked after the video the other day if they could get another video of life on Orchard Mains Farm. So I thought, well, if you want that then why don't we do another wee video and I thought it'd be useful to see if there was an update on the progress of the land that you saw the other day. I also thought, is it worth a production name for this, or a name for this production? And the boys, I think, came up with one, did you not, boys? Yeah. What's it called? Old McMillan has a farm. Old McMillan has a farm. So welcome to episode two of Old McMillan has a farm. So what we were thinking was, Rather than just focusing on lambing, we might look at all the different aspects of the farm. You might have heard that Cameron's got a wee cough there. And we think here, that's just a cold. We hope that's here, just a cold, but we shall here, see. Here is Nuggie opening. So Angus is demonstrating how to open a gate. You should always shut a gate, but this one actually doesn't need shut just now. No. And what we're doing here is we're going into the shed that you saw the lambs been born in the other day. And, um, Here's Archie also opening a gate. If you pull it towards you, Archie. Good man. And I thought it might be useful to get an update on how the lambs are progressing that you saw born the other day. So as you can see, it's all nice, freshly bedded with nice, fresh, clean straw. Um, and these sheep and lambs in here include the ones that we gave birth to the other day. And what, what happens, I think, as I said, when the lambs are born, they stay in the little pen for a day or a day and a half. And then what we do is we move them into a bigger pen where they can run around and get a little bit stronger in this bigger pen. So you can see these, these lambs here are all either a day or two days old. And the idea being that they can stay in here, get a wee bit stronger before they go back out to the field with their mummies. So this lamb here is about two days old. I don't know, do one of you boys want to hold it? Yeah, there you go, Archie. Do you want to come over and hold it, Angus? Other things that are worth noting in the farm is we keep them fed with fresh silage here. In these red buckets over here, they all get fresh water. And then in this wee thing over here, it's called a trough. And that's where we give them feeding. And we give them feeding in the morning, every day. And there you go, Angus, you can have a wee go with that one. So, the other thing to notice is that the angry cow that neighbors these sheep, she seems to even even she seems to be enjoying the good weather because her mood's improved a little bit and she's not getting so angry with the sheep anymore. Um, so all these sheep in here have two lambs and they'll get transported out by the quad bike to the fields relatively soon. Um, and we might show you a wee bit of footage later on from the field with where, where the sheep and lambs run. Can you tell us anything about how you know which is the mummy of, of which lambs? Oh, well, that's a good question, actually, Kate. And it's just as well you're on the production team. Uh, so what we do is we put red... You see the red spray paint? Each of these lambs has got a different position for that spray paint. And we put the same spray paint dot on the, on the mothers, which means that we can match up the lambs with their mums. The other thing to note is that we use orange, red, and blue, and we use the same colour on different days. So each day has a colour, orange, red or blue, and that lets us know how old the lambs are as well. So which is that? It's that one's mummy, the one that you just picked that up. That one's mummy is this brown faced sheep here. And the reason I know that is that because she's a Scotch mule and that's the only type of that lamb which is in here. All the other four are off black face. So that's a white faced lamb, whereas all the other lambs have brown faces. And the brown face comes through from their mother, who are the black, black faces here. So this is 
a wee update for you and as I say we'll try and give you updates on a day to day basis moving forward. So are we going to say bye bye? Bye bye. Saying bye bye Angus? Bye. Bye bye.